it feels very annoying, not encouraging. You know, when you find out that your partner or your husband, your spouse, is not as involved, right, as ought to in quote. Maybe you're like, well, baby is a baby until the baby is born. guys so welcome to my channel once again my name is gloria if you're new here if you're seeing this face for the first time very much welcome welcome to ria's cabin today right now i'm sitting on the floor like <laughs> i'm just very tired i'm still in church just a brief summary while i'm sitting on the floor the men have football so they went to play their football i said no i'm not gonna go last the last time i went it was really rowdy and i was shouting yay you know trying to support the motion so this time i feel like i don't want to go but besides that i didn't sleep well at night i woke up like 2 a.m and i couldn't sleep till almost six o'clock i feel like okay maybe when i stay behind i'm going to sleep today i am 20 plus two yay <laughs> so i've not vlogged for about two weeks now each time i want to do it i just feel so tired i'm like mm, mm, mm. today i'm picking up the camera and i'm vlogging god has been good the journey has been going amazing and finally got to know the sex of my baby my husband doesn't know you see this thing with men let me let me drop this matter on the table so my husband is supposed to be the expert right now based on he's expecting his third baby isn't it we're going for the scan i went for the scan 19 plus four days and he was like oh okay you're going for a scan now what type of scan is this i'm like i don't understand this is your question you are supposed to be a boss you should know what i'm going for right now you should know that the nhs only offers officially two scans right except there's something else this is a very low risk pregnancy by the grace of god all my pregnancies have been kind of low risk preschool so you should know by now the second scan is supposed to be something but i didn't bother telling him right <laughs> so i said well i'm going for scan so i just went i wanted him thinking he would be very curious to go and find out after i know he knew how many weeks i was right at that point he didn't i went for the scan after i got the shock of my life <laughs> as opposed to what i was thinking i came out i was like okay how was the scan i'm like the scan was fine everything was fine mm, it's fine i was like oh what happened in the scan i'm like everything that used to happen in this can happen in this can right so i'm still waiting for him to be really curious enough who knows maybe he's in another one month's time before he's gonna say hey what's the sex of our baby i'm waiting so i've not even told him yet so i'm just trying to assimilate and absorb the news and get used to the news first myself and so the name we have planned fortunately or unfortunately is not going to be the name it's not going to be suitable so i have to amend this baby is the most perfect gift ever i see i made i cut my nails so this baby wants me to be as feminine as possible <laughs> that one is for the men out there when your wife is pregnant please read alongside it's not only how that's going to be the parent i'm a third time parent and i still read pr practically all the things i read from the first time i am not that curious you know as i was in the first time but i still go back to say okay what's happening right now what are the developments that's going on right now in my body it feels very annoying and not encouraging when you find out that your partner your husband your spouse is not as involved as ought to in quote maybe you're like well baby is a baby until the baby is born you don't only wait until it is time right until the baby is born before you feel like yeah now i'm a dad now i want to be the the, the, the girl dad or the boy dad right please it also encourages us to feel like yeah it's not just you on this journey yes my husband has been amazing in so many other ways yeah he cannot be 100 percent nobody's 100 percent but sometimes you know when it comes to pregnancy ladies can be extra sensitive you know just feel like please learn a little bit more as i have learned now this is what i've noticed look at my tummy this is the biggest five months pregnancy ever can you see that can you see that like i feel like this is my son's eight nine months i noticed that this is like the biggest i've been and the reason why is not far-fetched i may not go knowing the nitty-gritties and the science behind it but of course it's out there for for reading and consumption i have been quite constipated as opposed to my usual pregnancies why because um i was told that 
I am iron deficient a bit, or I was. Well, currently am, in quote. Surprisingly, it's not as much as that of my sons. I started at 77 over 105 for my son. Obviously, with Petra, I was not anemic, so I was very fine. So nothing was prescribed. But with this one, I said I'm 93 over 105, right? Which is not too far away. And the doctor was like, I said that you're highly or you're really iron deficient. So as soon as possible, you need to start on it, on the iron tablet and all that. I'm like, okay. And then guess what? They said I should take it morning, afternoon, evening. What? So at first I didn't know, right? I was just taking it because, well, I've been taking iron tablet. But with my son, it was once a day. Now this one, it's three times in a day, which was really tough. And all of a sudden, when I started taking it, before that, my tummy was okay. I was having my diarrhea back to back. I was all right. When I go to church, I come out, my tummy is really flat. But this one, the minute I started taking it about almost five, six weeks ago now, my tummy just went, woof, just got bloated instantly. There was a huge jump and I'm like, what's happening? Something is not right. And then I noticed I wasn't pooping as much as I was and all that. And the midwife then was like, oh, should we, should we provide like a school softener um, or poop softener or something? I'm like, no, don't, don't prescribe any medication for me. Because right now as a stand, I'm finding it hard to take the iron tablet and my normal pregnant care multivitamin so i don't need any extra but really it's an eye opener you know i feel like it's too much the three times in a day one imagine when i started just i started like almost five six 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 weeks ago if i'm going to continue taking that means i will have too much blood and then i don't want them to suck up no you know you have too much blood you have to take off some but i know it's for the greater good right for baby but really i feel so big i feel like there's no space i feel like like a nine months old pregnant woman maybe it's not what i'm used to so immediately after my scan, I went to have my whooping cough vaccine. My hand was numb for a while. So I think you take it immediately after the 20 weeks. They will tell you that it's to prevent, it's actually to help the baby, not you. According to them, it takes about, because it's the virus or the, vac the virus, right? I want to believe. It's not a live one, so it tends to take about two weeks for it to kick in and then um, to be able to give your child uh, immunization or immunity for the first six months of their life. Yeah, please, I feel better now. Another thing that I also noted, noticed is that, yeah, I tend to eat better now. So I eat so well, praise God. I don't drink hot water anymore, <laughs> praise God. So now it's all cold water, which is great. But then suddenly I feel like throwing up, I feel nauseated. Really, this baby is one of a kind. Um, although with the way by maybe 17, 18 weeks, I started feeling better. Uh, Petra's for 14 weeks, I was better. This one, right now, I still feel nauseated. Sometimes as I eat, maybe because I don't have enough space. The baby is quite big. And I remember when I went for my scan, the sonographer was asking, how big are your babies? I don't know, although the baby was still measuring exactly 19 plus four at the day, which was good. I don't want to have a big baby, but I'm eating well now. I think it came back a bit where my sense of smell was heightened and I was like, no, 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 please. I don't want this to repeat itself again. Like a few days or a week kind of subsided. That was 18th week. So my sense of smell is back to normal. Food av aversion, perfect, okay. Sometimes I just can't eat. I feel tight. But beside that, I just feel if I eat this food, I'm going to throw up. So, well, it's a bit of trial and error. So, I also went on site on Monday for the first time. My manager saw me, everybody saw me. Now, I'm finally pregnant, right? And my manager was like, Oh, the next time you come on site again, you're going to be proper pregnant. I'm like, Well, I hope. I don't know. <laughs> I hoped that once I put my blood test and they check that my blood is okay, right, the level is fine, I can cut down from 3 to 1. I don't have any scan again. My next appointment will be a glucose tolerance test. We are going to check for gestational diabetes. By God's grace, the last two pregnancies were good. So this one, I believe in God as well, that it's going to be smooth. I've, I don't know. I don't know if it's something you do or it's just... The pregnancy hormones or an excretion or something 
but at least I've been eating, although I've eaten quite a number of bread. But carbohydrate is more than bread, right? <laughs> although I'm not a rice fan, but when you make some kind of yummy stew, <laughs> you tend to use more rice. I'm more of a protein type ah. thing. I'm eating all my chicken ah. now. Praise God, everything is going well. Two weeks back, the women's group meeting um, hosted me. They invited me to speak. Um, I couldn't record it, but by the grace of God, I thank God how it went well. <laughs> it went really great, and I thank God for it. I spoke on sharing your gift with others, how to use your gift to serve others. That was a theme that was presented to me, and thank God, you know, thank God for how it went. I was blessed as well. I really wish I recorded it so I could go back again, you know, like Apostle Joshua Selma will always say, record it, you know, go back, listen, 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 and be blessed by it. So, yeah. I think this video is quite long enough now. I'm just gonna wait, and um, I think this week I'm going to upload. I'm going to try and start uploading some videos. I've been so lazy, and I'm using that word intentionally. I don't want. I've rested. Now there's a thin line between I'm resting and you're getting lazy. Now I think this point is just that over resting and now it's becoming lazy uh, to post videos i have recorded lots of videos gloria just post it and then create a thumbnail is the issue but no god won't be happy he has given me that plat this platform Gloria's cabin to be able to bless lives and it's just my own little way of contributing to the faith and so i have to use my gifts I don't want God to take it away. In the process of all of this, it's time I'm praying all the more for this new name. I have prayed for years and years, I think for the last three years on the previous name that I had. I have previously prayed on the particular name that I have for this baby, but not enough. So this moment, I'm going to be using it to pray for this new name and then just getting, you know, proper confirmation if this is the right name for the baby or not. I've been asking my husband, okay, what's the, the traditional name? What's the John name of this baby? And he has given it. I'm like, oh, is it a unisex name? Can a boy bear it? Can a girl bear it? <laughs> God is good. God is good. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, why not give us a thumbs up? Take care of yourself and have a wonderful, wonderful week. Bye. <laughs>